अनुष्का मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग सर ओके सो अनुष्का टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस समथिंग रिलेटेड टू यू नो रिसर्च ग्रुप्स एंड अपॉर्चुनिटीज सो आई आई गो टू यू ओनली प्लीज टेल मी व्हाट दिस सीरीज इज ऑल अबाउट व्हिच वी स्टार्टेड टुडे ओके फर्स्टली टू द ऑडियंस आई आई वुड जस्ट लाइक टू इंट्रोड्यूस माय सेल्फ आई एम अनुष्का पाटिल एंड आई एम अ फर्स्ट सेमेस्टर फर्स्ट ईयर स्टूडेंट पीएचडी स्टूडेंट एट टेक्सास टेक यूनिवर्सिटी and i am researching on neurodegenerative disorders using uh, drosophila as a model so beginning with first question today so i'll be uh, listing out or presenting uh, three universities uh, three basically three american universities or us research institutions particularly for a biological related domain so it 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 will cover biochemical uh, biochemistry then it can cover bioinformatics uh, biotechnology and biomedical related areas so okay. my universities are divided into three categories so in the first category i'll be telling you the uh, listing out the universities which comes under top 50 then in my second category i would list out the universities which has a qs ranking of um, around 150 to 200 in the range of 150 to 200 and in my third the the safer uh, side for example if you don't get admission in the renowned or first two categories mm. yeah then in mm. the third category i have the institutes which comes under mm. the safer option with a decent qs ranking okay so anushka my question to you is like is that the way students should apply i mean uh, when some indian students is targeting some universities or uh, research group uh, in foreign universities is this what is advised to him like uh, target a group universities also b group universities also c group universities also is this what we advise to them also yes yes i would say that uh, we should never underestimate ourselves and just go on uh, applying for the renowned institutions also but okay. at the same time you apply for some safer category uh, institutions yes. as Yeah. Mm. It's a very good point you uh, said that uh, we should not underestimate. I will add to this: we should not even overestimate ourselves. Not mm -hmm. underestimate, don't overestimate. In the sense that there are some students, Anushka, who are having wonderful academic and research background. Yeah. You know, they tell me that, sir, I'm only going to apply in Ivy League. I suggest them, okay, you do that. But if you are planning to apply in ten universities, maybe you are targeting five Ivy League. That's okay. but then don't forget to apply in other universities also to be on the safe side at the same yes. time anushka uh, i have seen that even students who think their academic and research background is average they also get opportunities and positive response from ivy leagues so i think uh, <laughs> typically we should uh, select uh, universities from these three groups oh, okay now coming for yeah three categories so coming forward anushka which three universities you have identified today for students okay so in my first category that is uh, institutions uh, under top 50 so it's uh, johns hopkins university which is a globally renowned institution for specifically for biological related research and in my sec second category i have university of maryland which is in college park and in okay. my third category i have university of uh, texas at dallas okay so, so these three universities we want to show Yeah. Wonderful. Okay, so can we start our presentation now, Anushka? Yes. So, uh, to the audience, uh, <clears throat> so I'm going to uh, present you a presentation that I've created. I'll be covering just the gist of the uh, universities and what are the specific biological related areas they are famous in. So, I would like to share my screen. <clears throat> is the screen visible sir yeah yeah it is coming now yeah it is quite visible now okay <clears throat> so uh so these are some of the renowned us institutions specifically for biological sciences and just as i mentioned you earlier the first uh, the university in my first category it's johns hopkins university uh, which is also known as jhu 
so it is ranked 32nd globally which which is uh, amazing and the location it's located in baltimore uh, which is in the state so baltimore is a place and maryland is the state which is one of the states near new jersey in in the united states so uh, basically jhu is uh, renowned for its contributions to molecular biology genetics and cancer research so if you are interested in studying cancer re uh, research or maybe genetics or molecular or even uh, for that matter cellular biology then i think jhu is a perfect institution and it is also home to bloomberg school of public health so if you are interested in uh, research areas related to some public health and some of the biomedical programs then this is one of the ideal institutions so school of medicine and interdisciplinary research institutes makes it a leader in the field so if if even if you are interested to study medicinal related aspects uh, you can uh, try for this university <clears throat> then i have the second university that is uh, in the basically in the second category that is university of maryland uh, which is in college park and the qs ranking for this university is around 151 to 200 this is for particularly for biological sciences and uh, this university it offers strong programs in genomics so it it's an emerging field uh, right now in biotechnology and then also if you are interested to study ecosystem related studies uh, so it is also known uh, for its collaborative research in public health and agricultural biotechnology so if you are interested in plant sciences or plant related uh, biotechnological research this is a good university again it's located in uh, a place in maryland so maryland is a state in in the us also uh, it is a key player in the university system of maryland and it offers access to government agencies like the nih for collaboration so nih is like one of the funding institutions for umd so mm -hmm. i would like to uh, tell you all that i received and reply a reply from one of the professors so i i thought they have a direct uh, entry to their lab so i was thinking of uh, applying through email and i emailed one of the professors mr because... your your uh, this is not visible your presentation is not visible now in case you are doing that oh. maybe we need to check something so the next university in the second category that is uh, around that is the qs ranking around the range of 150 to 200 it, it is university of maryland which is in college park so it has a rank a qs rank in the range of 150 200 and if you are interested in genomics or biotechnology and ecosystem related studies then i think you should consider this university so uh, it is also known for a col collaborative research in public health and agricultural biotechnology so if you guys are related in plant uh, sciences or uh, plant related biotechnological aspects then you can consider this university <clears throat> coming to its location it's uh, located in maryland again which is a state in uh, the united states Uh, it is a key player in the university system of maryland and it offers access to government agencies like nih for collaboration so nih is one of the uh, most renowned uh, institutes for for biology related aspects so uh, the majority of the research fundings uh, to universities uh, sometimes comes from nih so i would like to tell you all that i uh, applied to one of the professors so i emailed to one of the professors from this university and he was working on a cell signaling using drosophila as a model organism so i emailed him and uh, i emailed him thrice <laughs> and after emailing him thrice he sent me a reply so he told me that there is no direct admission to uh, to a lab in biological sciences department so uh, every student has to undergo this rotation system and he told he also told me that it gives students much more flexibility to select the best uh, lab which is possible to them okay anushka so, i have a yeah. question i have a question yes. related yes. to this like uh, yes. uh, there is something which is called rotation system anushka that is which is yes. uh, normally there in sciences and biological related domains so can you tell me what is yes. this rotation system anushka 
okay so basically uh, some universities have this system so in this rotation system uh, for some weeks um, so initially you have to select three labs uh, which is the best suited for you and you have to um, be there i mean you have to be inside the lab for at least two to three weeks and see how the research work is going inside the lab are you really interested in in working in that lab specifically on that research area and then uh, after you do the rotation for two weeks in in one lab that is so i think you spend at least one semester in both i mean in three of the labs and then you mutually decide with the pi or your professor and if the pi is uh, agreeing to uh, to consider you as a graduate student in his lab and if if that is mutually decided then you uh, officially uh, join his lab as a graduate student so okay that now what very relevant question anushka which student normally ask us is like uh, sir if there is a rotation system and this is the kind of response which i am getting does it make any sense for uh, uh, science students and biological uh, domains related students to mail professor when we know that professor may not take us so how does this kind of mail help you like you also mailed you got this response does it help you anywhere in your application process further uh i don't think think it is generally uh, for the rotation system the emailing process is not helpful because um, i mean he judges you uh, in person when you come when you go inside his lab and uh, he asks his uh, lab students that how this particular student is behaving is is he okay. getting the research is he hmm. comfortable inside the lab so it depends on in person interaction with your a lab okay. uh, member so and i don't think it plays an mm. important role in this case mm. but, but uh, i think let's know whether there is opportunity or not right anushka yeah yeah exactly yes mm. so okay. that is just the initial step mm -hmm. mm. okay please go ahead mm. yeah and i was going through the website of uh, university of maryland so typical phd application statistics was uh, listed in their website so it's not necessary to have a master's degree for uh, uh, for enrolling in a phd program if you have just earned a btech degree or maybe a bachelor's degree of 4 years and you have a 3.0 grade on a uh, 4.0 scale then then it's uh, fine for you but they have also listed that you need at least one year of research experience and both industry and academia count so this is uh, one of the things which is not generally seen in uh, rest of the universities then uh, they had listed that they need a topic score of 100 or greater uh, for international applicants only and they also need three lors and uh, gre is not required so gre is optional then we have the university in our third category that is ut dallas so i would like to tell you all that i have been to dallas and it is a wonderful place especially for indians because there are a lot of indians in dallas and you get you get amazing <laughs> indian food from good indian restaurants as well so the people are very nice uh, in dallas also it is a very developed uh, city so yeah and so this uh, coming back to the university so ut dallas is ranked as 431st globally for cell sciences and it it has strengths in molecular and cellular biology and bioinformatics and especially if you are interested to study neurological disorders or if you are interested to study neuroscience then i think you should consider this university and it has a uh, like a good research infrastructure particularly with its natural science and engineering research labs and it's located uh, in richardson uh, which is in texas it it is a suburb part of dallas so that's it for the university okay. part so wonderful I anushka i'll ask you a linked question to this like uh, mm -hmm. suppose a student gets a uh, you know, fully funded scholarship in some university whose qs rank is let's say 500 let us say mm -hmm. uh does that mean his uh, his career post phd is going to get affected in any way uh, no. because there are students who are saying sir mere ko 500 rank qs ranking ka 500 rank hai iska mere ko mil gaya fully funded scholarship mil gaya so iske baad phd ke baad kya mere ko waisi hi opportunities milengi jaisi 
if I would have got within 100 or something. What is your answer to that? No, I don't think this is a case because uh, generally after PhD, you are asked for either your publications, uh, how many mm -hmm. publications you have, either mm -hmm. they see your thesis or what actual research you have conducted. Have you mm -hmm. provided back? To the community are you an asset to the academia so mm -hmm. only uh, your publications and your cv matters i don't think the qs ranking of your university matters. really mm -hmm. it's, it's no about. now you are in uh, that country you are meeting your peers you are meeting the students from other universities professors anushka if i ask you once you are in phd and you want to get a very good career you want to have a very good career in r d in a corporate sector in uh, industries or in acad academia so what matters you have partially answered that question what what matters the moment you got a university you have got fully funded scholarship now you have three four years ahead of you so where you should your focus should be so that you get very good career after that after a phd phd yeah yeah uh, I think I did not get your question. Can you? Can so you my question is, as I told you, you have already answered that question. But my question is, आपको QS आपको university मिल गया. उसका QS ranking बहुत अच्छा नहीं है. Let us say, आपको uh, university मिल गई. आपको fully funded scholarship भी मिल गया. How you are to spend your next couple of years so that जब आप PhD complete हो, you get very good opportunities. Um. Uh... Though you have answered that in terms of, I think, बहुत अच्छा research work करो और उसपे focus करो. Yeah, I am mean, still a first year PhD student. I have to figure out a lot of things. So okay. I don't think I'll be लेकिन जो पहला plan. जो पहला perception होता है अनुष्का वो क्या होता है कि अगर आप how blindly we should stick to QS ranking if I ask you that way. I don't think uh, QS ranking really matters for if, if you are a PhD student because uh, even my university does not have a great QS ranking. But mm -hmm. the the uh, like the profile of my PI, my professor, it's it's mm -hmm. decent enough. I mean, he has a good amount of publications and he can help me with that. So. Mm -hmm. I don't think you are ranking. And I believe uh, wonderful, uh, wonderful. I think wonderful professors are sitting in a very good uh, in those universities also whose QS ranking may not be good. Am I right in that, Anushka? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Because of their personal reasons, maybe. Okay. ऐसा भी हो सकता है कि professor is wonderfully good. I mean, in his own domain, we say world number this thing, this thing in a particular field, and uh, the university in which he is sitting, that university का QS ranking शायद बहुत अच्छा नहीं है. Maybe it can be some uh, family reasons as well, uh, yeah. because the person wants to settle in some particular area with his family, and the nearest mm -hmm. university to his uh, location maybe is not a, of a great QS ranking. So that mm -hmm. can be what, what, personal reason as well. So okay, so I think Anushka will uh, sum it up here only, and uh, let me thank you once again, Anushka. Uh, the series which we have started, like every week. You know, we'll discuss uh, three universities in three categories, uh, high ranked, middle ranked and low ranked universities giving wonderful career opportunities. One assumption is like whatever we suggest to students that should provide them very good career opportunities later on. And uh, we will be telling them these are the options. So thank you. Lord. Thanks a lot, uh, Anushka, once again. Catch you next thank week you again. Sir. Thank you.